guys welcome to my youtube channel so this video is about average value and root mean square so we are going to take an example and we'll try solving it and please make sure you watch this video to the end and subscribe for more videos so when we talk about the average value and the root mean square we have certain uh, rules that you need to follow in order to what solve this so this is a way of giving to us and we are supposed to find the average value and also find the root mean square value. Please, whenever a question is given to you, you better consider the unit with respect to time. So now, let's take the root mean square and let's see how we can do it. So with the root mean square, these are the rules that you must follow with the root, root mean square. So, the first rule is identify the cycle. Now, when identifying the cycle, when you talk about the cycle, the wave that repeats itself. So you must identify the wave that repeats itself several times. So with this, we identifying the um the cycle of the waveform. You see, the wave starts from here, comes here, and goes here. So it ends here. And another one to start. So this is the what we've identified the what the waveform. It means that with this, the time, that is the time given to us, because if you identify the cycle of the waveform correctly, you're able to get the time. So now, with the time given to us, that means that the time is six seconds. As you can see, the time is six seconds because the wave is repeating itself. When you get here, another one is repeating. So when you talk about the wave being in cycle or the cycle of the waveform, they are similar, repeating itself. So just take one of it and work with it. Are you getting it? So now it means that after that, we say what we should square the cycle, right? In squaring the cycle, we are going to use the area under the squared cycle. Now we have formula. So whether we are dealing with what? A triangle. With a triangle, we have a formula you should what? Always follow. So for triangle, the area of the under that's the area under the squared circle is that is the base times the height squared all over three now when you talk about the height of this you know this is the height so the height is three and the base how do you get the base you subtract the first number from the second number that will be four minus zero which will give you four it means that the base is now four then you find it that is the base times the height squared over three so we have the base and we have the height right now after getting the height we use the formula to solve for it we get what 12. now we getting this is you must always note this formula that is the base times the height squared all over three when we are finding the squared area to find the rms value that's the root mean square value. You must always note this. B times A squared. And the B is just the distance. You subtract this from that and get the B. And the height will be given to you. Now, with that, when you are done, we follow. They say divide the area by the period. So it means that we have the time or which is the period is 6 seconds. And the area we had is 12. So for us to find the VRMS, because this is regard to what? Vote. We are going to divide it. After dividing, we need to square root the result. So this is we've done the division. As in, when you divide twelve, when you divide twelve by the six, you are going to get two. So when you do that, you are going to find the square root of the two. And when you find it, you know the square root of the two will give you one point four one four volts. So this is the what the voltage. That's the root mean square voltage of this wave. So first, you must first make sure that you will first identify the cycle note the period square the cycle that is it's similar to this divide it by the period and square the result but here i just want everything to be similar so simple and very fast you just square it and just bring the area divided by the period and find the square root of it so at the end your answer will be in vote sometimes your answer can be in current depending on the source they will give you here now let's take this question 
let's take this question and try to analyze this. Now we are supposed to find the RMS value of this and the average value. So we are going to deal with the RMS value first. Now we find the RMS value, we need to identify the wave form. So let's see something. It goes here and comes here. So it means that you can even see that the wave form is up to here. It also starts. So we are just taking only one wave form. Now you know that this can form a triangle. So we finding the area, that is the square area of this. We have one, two, and three. So first you find the area, the squared area with a what? A triangle. And with a triangle, as I said, it is B, the base times the high squared all over three. So the base times the high squared all over three, you get 200 over three. But as you can see, the triangles are two. Though this is negative, when you square the 10, it will be positive. So you're going to multiply it by what? Two, which will give you 400 over three. We multiplied, when you do this, you're going to get the same thing, but here will be squared, negative, and in the brackets, negative 10 squared will give you what? 100 times two will give you what? 200. That's why we multiply it by two to get 400 over three. So it's because we have two what? Triangles here. So we get this. Now with a rectangle, with a rectangle, for the rectangle, we know that for the rectangle, the formula for finding the rectangle is what? Base times the height squared. Please put this in your head. Base, this is under squared cycle. Base times the height squared. So with the base times the height squared, what you do now is you are going to multiply the four, which was the base. What is the base? This is the rod. We are dealing with the what? The rectangle. So for us to find the base of this, you are going to subtract the four from the eight, which will give you four. So the base is what? Four. And the height is already given, which is 10, right? So that will be four times 10 squared, which will give you 400. When you are done, you need to find the total area. So we find the total squared area, which the base of the what? You see this? We have this one here. So the base of the rectangle will be what? That is 8 minus 4, which will give you 4. And the height is 10. So please make sure you know this formula. Put this formula in your head very well. That is the base times the height squared under squared area, right? Which will give you 400. That's why we sum it up to get this. After then, what do we do? We find the what? You divide through by the period. Now, once you know that the period will be 10, because the cycle is moving with a period of what? 10. When you identify the cycle, it's period of 10. Now, after doing that, for us to find the RMS value with regards to the voltage, you need to find, divide by the what? The period. So the period has been divided. This is uh, math that I did. That is 1 over 10, which is the period, times the um, the total area under the square cycle, which will give you 7.3 volts. So very simple as that. So let's move to the average value. With the average value, we need to identify what? The wave cycle, note the period, find the area, divide through by the what? The period. When you look at this, We've identified a cycle, which means that the period is now what? 10. The period is now 10 seconds. Because when you look at the uh, the cycle, it moves here, comes here, goes down here, and comes here. And it is it is repeating itself again. So we don't want the repeat. We just, we just take one of it and work with it. So now let's do something. When you do this, we bringing in this line will help us identify the what? The plane or the shapes of it so that we can solve it. Now with this, when you are using the normal area, please note this. With the average value, we don't use squared area, it's normal area. So area, we have one, two, we have two here, and we have three planes here. So with the area of this, you know that this is what? The breadth, and this is what? The length, right? So with the area of what? A triangle is half base times height. But with this question, you know that this is negative. So this triangle will cancel this triangle. Let me tell you why. Because... When you find the area of a triangle with positive 10, and this is negative 10, when you sum them up, it's going to give you zero. That's why it has canceled. But in case that the triangle here is up, you find and sum it up. And also you sum it with the rectangle and you divide by the pure. But in this case, this is opposing this, so it will cancel up. Now let's go to the what? The rectangle. So area of a rectangle, you know that it's length times breadth. And we know that the breadth, the breadth or the width is 4 because we subtracted 4 from 8, which had, we, we had what? 4. And the height here is now 10, so we have 10. When you multiply, you get 40. What next? Because this is what? Canceling this, we are done. We therefore divide through 
find the area of the cycle. So the area of the cycle is 40. Divide you by the period. We know that the period is now 10 seconds. So we divide you by the period. That's the average value for area over the period, which will give you 4 volts. Simple as that. So with the average value, you find the area, not the squared area, the area of it. After finding the area of the wave, you divide you by the what? The period. And that will give you the what? The average value. But please note with the unit. This is what vote. That's why I had vote. It sometimes can be current with respect to time or vote with respect to uh, that's the PDF with uh, the PD with respect to what time. That's the potential difference with respect to time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos.